Yo, what's going on guys? It's Swaggy Lakers fan here. Again, sorry for not posting much content lately. As we are in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, it's hard to find content daily for you guys. But anyways, I wanted to make a quick video on how Dion Waiters can be an impactful player for the Lakers off the second unit. The first thing we can start off with Dion Waiters is his age, as he's only 28 years old. NBA players tend to peak at around 26 to 30 years old, so he's right around that age. Having youth on this current Lakers team is crucial, especially since the Lakers have a lot of older veterans on the team, and I expect Dion Waiters to provide scoring and carry the load off of LeBron James and Anthony Davis at times. Another reason Dion Waiters could be another really good addition for the Lakers is because in today's current NBA, you need a scoring punch off the bench like Lou Williams is for the Clippers, and Dion Waiters could be the scoring punch off the bench for the Los Angeles Lakers. For example, the Lakers had some possessions where they had to find a bailout shot because the shot clock was winding down, and with bringing Dion Waiters in, he could be the perfect bailout player if we can't find anything on offense. It's a human. No, change my mind. Right back, Joe. Okay. Right back to you. Okay. Give it back again. You got it? No, right back. No, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Dion Waiters played only three games for the Miami Heat last season, and it's only a small sample size, but he shot 47% from the three-point line, which is a career high for Dion Waiters. With the positives that Dion Waiters can provide in scoring off the bench, the only negative in Dion Waiters is his immaturity, as he seems to goof around a lot, and he did get into an uncomfortable situation last season with the Miami Heat, where he ate gummies on a plane and had a panic attack, which is also the main reason why the Miami Heat waived Dion Waiters. But I think with Dion Waiters joining the Lakers, he will be around a lot of mature NBA players that have been in the NBA for a long time, and hopefully it will change his demeanor for the better. Overall, Dion Waiters knows who he is as an NBA player, as he's been in the NBA since 2012 and he's played with three previous teams with Cleveland, Oklahoma City, and the Miami Heat. As long as the Lakers give Dion Waiters an adequate amount of minutes, he knows his main goal is to be that scoring machine off the bench. I think Dion Waiters could be that spark plug for the Lakers during the playoffs, because when no one else is able to score, Dion Waiters will be able to create his own shot as he's one of the few shot creators on the Lakers. And that will be great for the Lakers in the playoffs, especially when it seems like the momentum might be shifting towards the opposition. Dion Waiters also has connections with Rob Palenka, who is the Lakers GM, and he's also played with LeBron James with the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James and Dion Waiters did have some disagreements on the Cleveland Cavaliers, but hopefully their relationship will be repaired on the Los Angeles Lakers. Overall, the Lakers signing Dion Waiters is a great move. And as Laker fans, we should be excited as Dion Waiters can be one of the key additions for the team. Anyways, that'll do it for the video today, guys. Please subscribe to my channel, Swaggy Lakers Fan, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching.